Hi, this is Anita Byers. I'm the Executive Director of the Family Crisis Shelter. And this technology is a little new to me and I just got a brand new computer with this on it. So please bear with me as I try to work out the bugs. But I wanted to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about the shelter, what we do, what our mission is, what we hope to accomplish, and how you help us to accomplish it. So first of all, I need to say thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk to you all. And thank you for your continued support to victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. So I cannot express my gratitude enough from the Family Crisis Shelter to Wabash Avenue Presbyterian Church for caring enough to get involved in a situation that a lot of people don't want to get involved in. Besides it being dangerous, it's scary, and it's easier to turn the other cheek or ignore the problem or hope somebody else will handle it and help them than to get involved. So thank you, thank you, thank you for caring enough to want to help. So the Family Crisis Shelter, we've been in existence here in Crawfordsville since 1979. Um, we try to help. Our goal is to first, first provide safety. So the first thing we do is try to get the survivor here safely and provide an environment where they can heal, they can collect themselves. Um, our first part of our program, and it's our direct service program, requires us to just nurture and help them calm down if they have physical wounds to help them with that, if they have mental wounds to help them with that, and to provide them a safe place and let them know that they're safe, it's okay, we care and we're going to help. Then throughout the program while they stay here at the shelter, they'll be signed a case manager and advocates from a ch children advocate to legal advocacy to case management to mental health advocacy to get them on their feet. Now that's very easy to say, but I'd like you to take a second and just think about if you've literally had to run from your life or leave your home and take the very bare essentials, which is basically two or three articles of clothing, some important paperwork, and that's it. So that can be daunting for a lot of people of how to take a step forward. Then throughout their stay here, our goal is to empower them enough that they can move forward. They can find a place that is safe. We can get all help them with all the legal stuff that they need to, to ensure their safety. And we can empower, and that's the word I want to use, them enough that they feel confident that they can go out and live a violence-free life. That's it in a nutshell, and how you guys help us is that you give us the means to do it. Every client that comes through the door comes in with different needs, diff coming from a different background, different challenges, different barriers, and we're able to take support that you guys give us and tailor that to help the needs. Some people come with plenty of clothes. Some people come with clothes on their back. Some people come from the hospital and all their articles of clothing have been taken into, taken into evidence. So they, it all depends. Some people need help with learning to read and write. Some people need help with medication, mental health services, uh, putting rent, rent down, deposits, rent, clothing, our services here are offered free of charge to every victim. So we take the support that we get from people like you and tailor it to the needs of each and every client. So once again, I want to say thank you. Again, thank you for bearing with me for this is my first video. I like to talk. I will be glad to come and talk if you want to know more at any time. But thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the Family Crisis Shelter. Have a great day.